Hello, this is Mr. Tirebox123, and the iPhone dev team have just released Red Snow 0.9.6 RC9, which is the untethered jailbreak for the 4.3.1 iOS update from Apple for all of the iOS devices. And this is a completely untethered jailbreak for version 4.3.1 of iOS. So I'm just going to run you through and show you exactly how to use this new version of Red Snow to do an untethered jailbreak on an iPhone 4 in this instance. The untethered jailbreak works for the 3GS, the iPhone 4, the iPod Touch 3G, the iPod Touch 4G, the iPod 1 and also the Apple TV second generation but only using the ownage tool for now. Also if you rely on an unlock then you can't update yet because they need to do an update to Ultra Snow to make it work on version 4.3.1 so stay away from that if you need an update and if you are going to use Ultra Snow for an unlock in the future then make sure you use Ownage Tool to keep the version of the baseband that you've got at the moment and don't update it or you might well lose your unlock for the future. So if you go to the iPhone dev team's blog you can go on and download Red Snow for either OS 10 or for Windows. So I'm going to go right ahead and download the OS 10 Red Snow. So first of all you need to upgrade your firmware on your iOS based device to 4.3.1 using iTunes. So I'll just show you on my iPhone 4 here we're running version 4.3.1 you can see there version 4.3.1 and then all we need to do is download the appropriate version of Red Snow to our computer and then all we're going to do is browse to our iPhone IPSW update that I've downloaded from the Apple website click open there once it says that the IPSW is successfully identified we can then click next it's going to go away and do some various preparation on the jailbreak data and then all we need to do is click install Cydia hit next and then once everything's ready and set to go we can hit next again and then you have to hold down the power button for three seconds then hold down the home button for ten seconds at the same time without letting go of the power button and then let go of the power button but keep holding down the home button until the jailbreak actually kicks in once it's in DFU mode. Once it gets to this point you can actually let go of the home button and then it's going to go away and do a complete untethered jailbreak on your device. So that's the jailbreak finished off and it's booting up and we can run Cydia and show that that's working and then we'll do a reboot completely untethered and that's it. Thanks very much for watching, I'll see you in the next video.